excited? Uh, any of y'all show up to that? Yeah, for, for us, pretty much our PC exclusives will be Blizzard games. Um, but if we're going to do a console game, uh, certain genres make sense to exploit it on the PC platform, RPGs, <coughs> first person shooters. If you come with a great PC exclusive con um, uh, IP or, or project, um, we would probably try to find ways to exploit it onto the console. Yeah, it's, it's, it's much harder to do PC only content right now that is in the traditional form. I mean, piracy has just absolutely devastated the business. Uh, but we, we are still doing things like uh, Dawn of War, uh, the RTS game, um, Company of Heroes we did. So we, there's certain genres that still work really well on the PC. Um, but it's it's so much harder than it used to be, and especially when you're, you're talking about those competitive budgets once, you know, they're 10 plus million dollars, then it's so much harder to make money in that business. And that's why, you know, Blizzard has set a new model for, you know, doing what would be PC only games. But it's it's a lot harder than it used to be. And I think PC can be the easy way to move on developers in a sense that uh, you don't have to fight too much with the controls. So at some point, trying to think about how to translate those controls into a console game, you may have to streamline uh, the design to make things simple, uh, simpler. Uh, so it, it can be a good exercise for you to think about the ways to force that game to console. If I don't, I don't have a basically a weapon to uh, uh, button joypad, how can I work with the game? So we, we, we try to have a console version of our games, yes. Even if the concept is initially PC only, we, we try to seek it out of consoles, uh, but that's not the reason to trash the PC version of uh, the case. Cool, fantastic. Well look, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, I'd love everyone just to give a very big round of applause.